Hi, my name is Eric Wright, and I my video is about the Beatles, and I'm going to be interviewing people and asking them questions about what they think about them. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! I'm Ringo, and I play the drums. Uh, well, I'm Paul, and I play the uh, uh, bass. I'm George, and I play a guitar. I'm John, and I too play a guitar. Sometimes I play the fool. We were four guys that uh, I met Paul and said, do you want to join me band? You know? And then George joined, and then Ringo joined. We were just a band who made it very, very big, that's all. John thought of the name Beatles, and he'll tell you about it now. <laughs> well, I had a vision when I was 12, and I saw the man on a flaming pie, and he said, you are Beatles with an A, and we are. The band began formerly known as the Quarrymen, later became the Beatles. The band known as the Beatles was formed in 1960 by John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Pete Best, their drummer. In 1962, the Beatles dropped their drummer, Pete Best, and replaced him with the more famous and overall better drummer, Ringo Starr. The Beatles' first television broadcast in the United States was on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964. After their, that show, it increased their popularity in the United States and Great Britain tremendously, and thus it caused a phase known as Beatlemania in both of those countries and around the world. She said she loved you, and you know that can't be bad. Yes, she loved you. Throughout the band's career, they were able to even make three motion picture films, one of which, called Yellow Submarine, was entirely animated. The other two live-action movies were A Hard Day's Night and Help. Help! I need somebody! Help! Not just anybody! Help! You know I need someone! The band broke up in 1970, but there is really no true reason why. Many people, due to popular belief, believe Yoko Ono, John Lennon's wife, was the main reason behind this, because they believe Yoko distracted John from working in with the other band members, such as Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison, and this caused a rivalry within the group, thus leading to their breakup in 1970. When the band broke up, each member, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, George Harrison, and Paul McCartney, they all started their own solo careers. Paul McCartney started his own band, Wings. Ringo Starr started his own band, Ringo Starr and the All-Stars. John Lennon and his wife Yoko Ono started the Plastic Ono Band, and George Harrison, he just started his own solo, solo career. Post-band career, Paul McCartney's most famous and popular album would most likely be Band on the Run, John Lennon's most popular album being the Imagine album, George Harrison's album would be All Things Must Pass, and Ringo Starr's album would be Ringo Starr. The band known as the Beatles is one of the most, if not the most critically acclaimed and most popular band in both mass popularity and in record sales. They are number one. Who do you think was most successful post Beatles career? John Lennon because he's the center face of the Beatles. My favorite album is Abbey Road and my favorite song is Here Comes the Sun. Here comes the sun. 
Do you have a favorite album or song? I do. Uh, the Help album is my favorite album, and my favorite song off of that is Yesterday. Oh, I believe in yesterday. I think Paul McCartney was the most successful Beatle. Uh, he was the one I also liked the most, and I think he's done the most with his career. My favorite Beatles album is Sgt. Pepper's. My favorite song on that album is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. My personal favorite album is Magical Mystery Tour, and my favorite song is Hello Goodbye.